Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please press the red subscribe button. Okay, hi guys. Uh, today we are going to try something different. We are going to try black and white reversal for paper. So we are going to use this uh, Uford photo paper. Uh, this expired paper 5x7. So I need to uh, trim it down for use inside this uh, 4x5 film holder. Right. So this is 5x7. So I'm going to go into the dark room with a red safe light to do the cutting. Right. So for cutting it's very simple. What I will do is to uh, I have the 4x5 film negative here to use as a template. I will place it, uh, align it against the corner of a 4x5x7 by, by paper and then I will use my pen knife to cut it, the stage edge, and then look inside the film holder. Uh, we will be able to do this under the red safe light. Okay, so we have loaded the photo paper into the film holder so this film holder actually hold uh, two sheets so we have uh, four pieces loaded here and this is my Shama Monex uh, 4x5 camera so let's take some shot and then we'll do the processing Simple still life shot that we are testing out. Different color, including black. Right, so let's see how it will turn out. Okay. Give it a f5.6. Right, and then uh, the shutter speed now is uh, 0 0.6 second. And for photo paper, using it as a negative, we probably need to overexpose it by three stop. So I would expose it for let's say uh, 2.4 second, right? Roughly so, right? And then we we'll see how's the result. Okay. On the exposure uh, system on the large format, right? So we have the. Uh, aperture setting here so now it's set already set to f 5.6 this is the shutter speed for this shutter it can go as fast as 1 over 400 to as slow as 1 uh, second after that we have the B mode the bug mode and the T mode the time mode right so for this exposure uh, that's how we measure about 2.4 second so I will use the bug mode and then try to expose it for about two and a half second or uh, I may run out to three second right okay so let's take a look it will go something like this eh? just a test run first caught the shutter release the shutter 1000 2000 and I let go okay All right so I have already pulled out the uh, dark slide so I'm ready to trip the shutter okay so I'm going to cock it. Okay, I'm going to trip it for. I just trip it by hand, huh? One thousand, two thousand. Okay, so that's roughly about two and a half second. Uh, let's process it and see how it turns out. Okay, so we have our chemicals ready. So this is the Uford Multi Grade uh, Developer. Uh, so this is like uh, twenty ml mix until 200 ml of water this is our this two are for, is for the bleaching solution I will put the details here right so basically this is one gram of potassium per magnet to top up to 250 ml of water this is 13.5 gram of uh, sodium bisulfate and then uh, top up to 250 ml of water right so when we are ready to use then we will mix them together because they don't really keep well so for maximum bleaching effort, we only mix them when we are ready to use. Okay, today we are using this uh, Peterson Orbital Color Print Processor. Right. 
So this processor can take up to uh, four pieces of four by five firm, right? Okay, as you can see here, there are pads to partition the tray. So I could put in the paper or film. So for 4x5, I can put in 4 pieces right? and the packs will keep that in place. And this is the cover. Right? So when you lock it in and you pour your chemical into this tray and you uh, agitate the chemical by moving the tray. Right? There is a base at the bottom that will allow you to orbit the tray. So very few, uh, very uh, low quantity chemicals are needed. Right? Because as you orbit the tray, the chemical will move around the fourth film. Right, to process it. Okay, so uh, this tray is actually quite flexible uh, with a simple design of using the packs to separate the film. So if you remove two of these packs, you can actually process uh, two 5 by 7 prints. And if you further remove these two packs, you can actually uh, process a piece of 8 by 10 film of paper. Right, so it's very, very flexible. Okay. Okay, so the paper negative has been loaded inside the tank. So we're going to start the developing process now. I set the timer for one minute. So once I pour in, I'll start to rotate the tank and at the same time also uh, start the timer. So here we go. So this is how we rotate the tank and the chemicals will swing inside the tank itself uh, reaching all the prints and there's constant agitation Okay, so I left with one second Okay, and then we can pour away the developer Pour in some water and also we will start to agitate the tank right, to stop the developing process. Okay. So, this one uh, not very specific, maybe about 20 to 30 seconds. That will be able to stop the developing action. So now this is for the bleach, uh, so I'm going to mix the uh, solution of the sodium bisulfate which uh, effectively, effectively a very diluted uh, sulfuric acid to the potassium permanganate uh, solution. So we always mix add uh, acid to water. So let's put it in, alright, and mix it well. And this is about 500, so we don't need so much, so we need about 250. Okay. And I'm going to uh, put it in and bleach for about 5 minutes. Right. I'm starting the timer for 5 minutes. Right. Okay. And we'll pour in some water to again stop the bleaching process and also at the same time uh, give it a good wash for the print. Oh, 
for this uh, maybe a 30 second wash change the water and then give it another 30 second wash again that should be good enough okay so now the wash is done we can open up and take a look and this is also for our second exposure to light okay um, wow okay You can see that there is a very fit image here huh? uh, and also the yellowishness from the the yellow stain from the bridge itself. Okay. So now let's try to develop it and see how it goes. Okay. So I'm to use the same developer and for this we can do it in daylight. Huh? Let's see how does it turn up. Okay, we see a positive image being formed. Okay. Good enough, we can stop it. So this is very fast. So I'm going to pour it away. Okay. And then or in some water okay. okay guys this is the end of the video do subscribe to my channel if you have not done so please also comment like and share out this video so take care and i see you at my next video